So let's get into it. We'll fill it these three brim. They've been left in the fridge overnight, so they were yesterday's fish. I liked leaving them in the fridge overnight because it just hardens the flesh just a little bit. Nice sharp knife underneath the fins, straight back behind the head, and down. Don't think for a second I'm the world's best filler. I'm not just the average Joe that likes fishing. That catches a few brim. They're, they've all still got the scales on them, so we'll leave the scales on them. We'll take the fillets off and we'll knock the, the skin off and they're ready for eating. And once you're up to the rib, ca rib cage, turn around and knock that fillet off. There's the fillet. A nice clean surface to the other side. Second fillet. Righto, skinning them. Scales on, cut a little notch at the back. Something for you to hold. Run a nice sharp knife straight up the inside of the skin. Skin's waist, there's your fillet. Take the bones out. These ones got a couple little pin bones in the middle. I like to remove. That's it, one bone, skin, lovely piece of brim. Okay, so these are our fillets. A few scales left just on them from where they've been sitting and when they were thin. So give them a little wash in salt water, let it drip dry, and straight into the, the bag. Now, if you don't put them in salt water first, or they're not wet, they won't go into your bag very easily much much easier to slip them into your bag if they're wet if they're not wet they're very sticky getting them to the bottom of the bag is near impossible well getting them to the bottom of the bag flat is near impossible so that's the bag of fillets all laid nicely so when they freeze you're able to get them apart and uh, just eat what you need very handy when you've caught say 10 or 12 brim and you want to do two or three feeds